civil unrest soon approaches New York. Immigrants, Ordo, Ab, KO. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rabacha, Kodash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone. Singing honors to the elect. Peace and blessings to the one third. Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And the reason for me making this video has been a lot of talk going on about how there are immigrants here in America and they're getting better benefits than the domestic people who were born on this land pretty much right we know the israelites so-called nigger latinos and native americans we understand our position because of the curses but this is a play on the left hand side right because all of a sudden you have the immigrants that come in and they get treated better than hell world war ii veterans that fought in foreign countries that's now on a goddamn going roll asking for money, right? But the reason why I'm bringing this out is because it's called Ordo App Chao. Now, I'm not going to talk too long. I want her to speak on the matter. And then I'm going to go into why this is spiritual wickedness on the left hand side, all right? Because Ordo App Chao in Latin means order out of chaos. They can't force you or order you to, to do anything if there isn't a chaotic situation at hand right like i.e 9-11 that was auto app ko two decades later ain't found no weapons of mass destruction yet anyhow let's get back to it this is tompkins park this is the most popular migrant shelter where all of these men come once they come into new york city there are hundreds upon thousands of men we have met men that have wristbands and their number is in the 19,000 before they can go in and sleep in that shelter mayor adams put out a paper and he put out an announcement saying that after these men have been in the shelter 30 days is their limit after 30 days they will no longer be able to be housed they will be put out on the street homeless. What we learned today by reading, we physically held the paper that says what is going to be happening to these migrant men. On that paper, it said that migrant families will not... be treated the same way as these migrant men. Migrant families will be able to reapply after 30 days. They'll be able to... So like you. for a different shelter. So all these men that you see around here don't need that are soon to be let out on the streets in New York City and homeless. And what they said, one man said, why did Joe Biden let us come in? Why did Joe Biden let us come in if he's not going to allow us to work? Someone said that to me today because these men are not allowed to work. They don't have work permits and they're... All right, so here it is. Joe Biden allowed these immigrants to come in. So they was housed for 30 days at a facility. And he said, after 30 days, you're out. Imagine you being, let's, let's just try and imagine, let's try to imagine this. You're an immigrant from the United States of America. You wind up in Russia, Iran or China, Right. Or any other country, but I just use those because I know Americans really don't like them. Anyhow, and then they house you for thirty days. Then all of a sudden, you pushed out on the free, you pushed out on the streets in the freezing cold of Russia, or in the uh, 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 out in the streets of Iran, or out in the streets of China. And now you don't have citizenship there, so you can't legally work. How are you going to eat every day? How are you going to drink every day? How are you going to be able to have shelter and clothing and raiment for yourself every day? And this is for the men, because they said they're not going to treat migrant families any different. I'm saying they're going to treat them differently, not the same. Migrant families will be able to fill out applications to get to get aid, to get um, shelter. But the men are going to be pushed out on the streets. 
So what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be chaos. Yeah? Chaos. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And the word devices doesn't have to mean something that's electronic that you're holding your hand. Look up the word devise. Got to understand words. Devise means to come up with an elaborate, um, decept deceptive plan. And that's exactly what this is. The left hand side at work. Hence why I have the auto app KO right here. 33 degree is the highest degree in masonry or in Masonic rituals. And you have the double headed eagle. One head represents the physical the, the physical superiority of the uh, of the um physical realm and the spiritual superiority of the spiritual realm. Because Satan knows your desires. Satan knows all of your lusts. But it's the spirit that they want. They will give you everything you want in your flesh just, just so that they can obtain your spirit. And why the scripture says, why shall a man um, gain the whole world and lose his soul? What is a man without a soul? Let that sink in. But anyhow, and the Dewis um, Mimical Juice, I, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. That means God. I see, um, God in my right hand or God in justice. Because this is how they operate. This is the left hand side. Job 9, 24, the earth given to the hands of the wicked. Right? And the wicked is Esau. Now, like the scripture says, never trust thine enemy as I am rusted, so shall his wickedness. How is it to bring you here to this land and now just to push you out on the streets? This is going to cause mayhem, anarchy. They're going to end up robbing. They're going to end up killing. And in all the chaos, you know what they're going to do? But well, we need to monitor everyone. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of Revelation, the 13 chapter. You can't buy, you can't eat, you can't drink unless you have this mark. So they're going to have it to, I'm just, I'm speaking as, as a man, they're going to have it to where they're going to try and how they're going to group everyone together, even the domestic citizens here. Remember, since 2001, every American citizen is a domestic terrorist. That was with the Patriot Act, then it was revised with the NDAA Act, the National Defense Authorization Act that was signed by Obama. All right? So let's get back to the video. Basically just stuck, hanging out here all day long. So y'all see Mayor Eric Adams in New York talking about we only gonna house the migrants for 30 days, 30 days and then they gotta go. So you deemed yourself a sanctuary city. Then you get them nice and comfortable. You got them put up somewhere. You give them some money, some food, you know, you know, get them settled in. Then you pull the rug from under them and say, you got 30 days and y'all got to go. Well, the good thing is he's giving them tickets to be um, flown all across America. Not back home, though. Not, not out of the country, but, but to other places. Now, you heard that what she said. She said that you're giving them flights to go to, to be scattered all over America, but not back home. We You can't work here. We don't have no shelter here for you, but we just going to move you somewhere else. Hmm. So they're scattering all the immigrants all throughout America, right? And soon they're going to be like, wow, we can't, we, we don't know what's going on. We can't control it. There's just too much chaos. You know what? Let's just go ahead and just see hip everybody. Let's insert something inside everybody where we can monitor everybody and we can know where everybody is. I mean, are y'all kind of, are you putting the pieces together? See, they playing chess where everybody around here playing checkers and Uno and Goldfish and Monopoly and Candyland and shit. Well, not Monopoly, that's, that's kind of extensive. But you know what I mean, they're playing games. They're not bull driving. And side note, she's a lovely woman, she's attractive. But listen to her speech when she's talking. Taking the glasses off. Yeah, I gotta go. Ma'am, you're gonna need a man in that day. You're not exempt from this. Well, you, well, you think you're gonna stay in your high rise apartment in New York? New York, major cities are the worst place to be when Jacob Trouble hit. For one, all of y'all are living in buildings where you're stacked on top of each other. And in addition, your food gets imported and it lasts, what, three days inside your favorite store. 
And then again, um, New York is called the concrete jungle for a reason. You talking about the finesse? What well, well, they say, um, Houston, the finesse capital, but you could easily get finesse down in up in New York. And uh, and a lovely woman as yourself, ma'am, you will be traded. You will be used as a bartering tool in that day if you don't have a man. Humble yourselves. Nonetheless, let's get back to it. Lovely though, but yeah, whatever. Hey, what it says, um, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the how about shame out shot shall be praised. And Lord will it say. And the reason why is because they can't support all the migrants. Now, do I think that this was all created and set up? Yes. Because it's ding, not ding, like ding. I said, it's not like they don't know what they're doing. They get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. They know they can the, the forecasting is part of their job. So they knew that this was gonna happen. And to be honest with you, let's think this through. You have a bunch of people, and this has nothing to do with race, that came over here with absolutely nothing. You gave them a place to live, you gave them some food, you know, some shelter, whatever, and then you snatched the rug from under them. What do you think they're gonna do? Do you think they're gonna sit there and starve? No, they're going to commit crimes. They're going to steal. They're going, and with stealing comes a bunch of other crimes, right? This is James 2 and 19. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So remember, the earth given to the hands of the wicked. And the word devil go back to Diablos, which means deceiver or liar or slanderer. You heard what she said? You don't think they know what they're doing? They get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. They know exactly what they're doing. Once again, auto ad KO. But once again, for the elect, we believe that there is only one God, one power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And guess what? The devils believe and they tremble too. So that's why I, I mentioned the order of Kayo and I also had mentioned the the, the double headed eagle in the name. When it says God right here, what is it? Deuce Mum Mumku? Forgive me. Just is God in my right. Or, or also translated, God and my moral rightness. So in other words, they they working for our power just on the left-hand side. Remember, y'all, through much tribulation shall we enter to the kingdom of heaven. Hey, y'all, we at the front door. I'm like, how about this, Salakia? We at that, we at that step. You get you get that one step, then you step up again, and then right there, literally, the door is like it's. You can like, oh, you can almost, you can you can, you can feel the vibration behind it, the essence, that 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 gravitas of just the kingdom right there. But it, there's just it's just something right there. We just can't touch it yet. It's so tantalizing. That's the kingdom of heaven right now. There are gonna be so many obstacles. So many detours we must take. But remember, don't ever detour to where you're off your journey. Detour to reroute yourself to get back on the path. Because sometimes that detour just is just simply a stumbling block. Or another, another experience of a trying of your faith. But one thing that we can't forget. The left hand side, these devils work for the same power we do. Because our God and our right, our just sits on the right hand side of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shah. Fear no man, but fear the God that did create man. Let's go. Lego. That's what they're gonna do, and it's gonna be against the, the citizens of New York. Yeah. Duh. With poverty comes crime. They literally poverty and crime are just like this. Yeah. You need to commit crime if you're That is true. The reason why crime is so high because of poverty. If everyone had their housing, their food, their shelter, you know, their raiment, why would anybody have to steal unless you're on drugs, right? Why would anybody have to kill unless you still, you know, have such a mindset that you're above other people and that all should die? 
I mean, like, why else would there be crime if everyone have all of the necessities of life? The necessities. I agree. I agree. I agree, sister. I think she's Juvenile. Look like she, like she Native American. She could be Ruben. Even though they do. Kind of my mama. You don't need to. It's not necessary. But when you are hungry, your kids is hungry. You ain't got nowhere to live. You ain't got nothing to your name. They're gonna commit crimes. It's already happening. It's already happening. And so. I really think that him doing that is going to spark civil war because it's going to be the citizens against the non-citizens. Another way they created division. Another way to create division between Americans and the immigrants. And when she said that, between the Americans and the immigrants, the first thing that came to my mind was the Egyptian versus the Egyptian. You know what she said, though? How how you cause division? Ordo hat KO. Once again, all right. I'm not gonna make this too long, but you know, I gotta get my points across. You did all while they get to sit up in their nice neighborhoods and watch from above and right. watch just freaking scurry and skedaddle like roaches fighting over a crumb. I really just suggest uh, the citizens that are left in New York, y'all leave, leave, just leave, let it go, let them have it at this point because there's. There's nothing you could do. Now, like I said, a lot of a lot of them are. She said, "Leave New York," but there's nothing you. She said, "There's nothing you can do." Oh, let me put some I don't want to make your face look like that. That would quick. Nothing you can do, though. That is true. There's nothing you can do. You cannot outrun the judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I leave the elect with this precept: Matthew ten and twenty-eight. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And hell is a condition, it's not a place. Okay? Other than the grave, it's a condition. So, Auto App KO will come out of the chaos that will start here in America that's orchestrated by the conglomerate, the upper echelon, the deep state. The, the puppeteers pulling the strings on the puppets that you see and root for every day. Once again, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And we have the trump card. We have the Rawah Kodash and faith. So with that being said, I pray you was edified, fed, stay in the spirit, no fear, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent. Quamashallah, muflababah, shalom.